Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. We're headed into game two between Edward Gaming and AHQ Esports Club. And Zyrene, Coro in the top lane there for EDG was a big part of this win. So how is AHU going to attack that matchup? Well, first, you don't let Ziv die level one, level two. You also put him in a matchup where he's going to have a little better time because Koro, they left the Hecarim, they left the Nara unbanned, and they banned out Pawn's Azir and his LeBlanc, which I thought was very questionable. And now that they're swapping sides, EDG, you know, if you're going to take away one of those top laners like Hecarim or Nar on AHQ side, you have to ban the other one. You really just can't let Koro have one of those champions because he's just going to carry really hard. I think for the game... I felt like EDG could have just steamrolled out of the level one, you know, getting such a huge lead on Hecarim. And in a way, they did just kind of crush AHQ, but they let them farm a lot. Wester had a lot of damage, and they did get beat in the bottom lane as well. Yeah, their bottom lane was actually impressive. The Civil Leona combo, walking into it as a Callista, especially with the Hurricane build, which it needs a lot of ramp up damage, is just a very risky, and they actually made them pay for it. So credit to AHQ's bottom mm -hmm. lane. They might be able to make something work in this series. All right, you mentioned I want to go back to the top lane real quickly just because statistically in the top lane for AHQ, they've played three NAR games and now three Maokai games. So Hecarim not even making an appearance for them. So it would, uh, you know, kind of go with your point there that they throw the Hecarim ban out, take the NAR as a more threatening top laner. Yeah, I definitely agree with something along those lines because they just can't let him have that Hecarim. It's banned against him all the time in LPL. I think we talked about how Fizz would have been the better pick. And one of the things that I really like about Fizz with the Sejuani, is that Sejuani is a champion that usually forces a mid laner to take the cleanse. The problem is that Twisted Fate is also a champion that gets stopped by cleanse, so it's really beneficial for Pawn to have taken that. If it was against a Fizz, the only thing he can cleanse is the Ignite, making that matchup really hard for him. So I want to see them just switch up the mid lane and jungle synergy to make the, make it a hard time for Pawn. All right, well, we're only one game in, and it's been an exciting series already as we shoot it to the casters for game two. We'll hear from EDG's Mako, who thinks the chance to adapt makes the semifinals five game series a whole nother animal. Uh, I 输一局的话，后面调整好心态的话，应该就会都都能赢的。well, I don't think fixing the mentality after that game will be too hard. They're not going to throw a ban at Nautilus just because it went crazy. <laughs> yeah, I can still go to support, but I think there's some more important picks and bans that are going to be going through the second game. Yeah, HQ now on their blue side, of course. They banned LeBlanc and Azir in the last game. It's not really champions west or play, so if they're so afraid of them, they should ban them once again. And then I would ban out the Hecarim against Coral. He was so strong on the other side for EDG. Continue banning Mountain. Rek'Sai, Gragas, remove them or make it so yeah. that if they first pick it, right. you get two super strong picks on the side of EDG. Because